For the last two years, we worked with uh, various members in the ag community on water quality issues and improving the water quality. And it led to negotiations over the last two months with leaders in the dairy industry. We invited uh, seven uh, farms to come to the table with the tribal council and discuss things that we could do to improve the water quality with the intent of opening up the Portage Bay shellfish beds, addressing the, dam addressing the damages, the past damages to the shellfish harvesters of the Lummi Nation, and also how we can enhance the opportunity in other shellfish beds while the Portage Bay is uh, shut down. And our, ec our, our technical staff said that we're looking at you know, a minimum of two to three years from today before they can be reopened. And this Portage Bay partnership is a deliberate approach to identifying things that we can work on and change to uh, reopen the shellfish beds. And the goal of the Portage Bay Partnership, one of the many goals of the Portage Bay Partnership is also to encourage other folks to join on to uh, also be a part of the solution. I think that this is a, a, a really good step for the whole community and uh, really speaks to uh, what we can do when we work together. I'm signing on to the Portage Bay Partnership Agreement with the Lummi Nation. It's a way of us working together to accomplish clean water quality with a focus not only on dairies, but we're going to use that partnership agreement to focus on the larger picture of other sources of contamination that have shut the shellfish beds down. Our Portage uh, Partnership Agreement is a partnership agreement to work at getting water quality enhanced so shellfish beds can be reopened. That's our first and foremost focus. Both sides sit down, cooperatively use a cooperative approach to figuring things out. It's a big win for both people, both sides.